Sup Nerd Amigos, I'm the Jive Talking Nerd, John Norgrove, and this is Review Jive, uh, it's like an unboxing edition. I don't know if, if you've been around for a while, you know that we used to do unboxings because we both used to get monthly Why grades. Why don't we just call we it an unpacking edition? Because we're just getting around to unpacking this stuff. This is Vlog Jive, Acorn <laughs> City. Make it extra fucking confusing for the viewers. That doesn't even. Uh, I know. That's why it makes. I that's just... that's why it's extra crazy. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> so I was just gonna go through the stuff. So it's been a couple of weeks since Fanime. Um, all of the sub, all of you subscribers and a lot more people have seen uh, the um, uh, Fanime vlog. Yeah. So yeah, let's let's go through what we got. We actually had a really great time, and we. I feel like we didn't spend as much money as we normally do, but we, we I also feel like we got way more stuff. I feel like we got a lot of stuff, like but I also stuff, feel yeah. like we got a lot of really good stuff. We weren't just buying stuff to buy, to buy stuff, yeah. which is a thing that we normally do. So we bought stuff because yeah. we were like, oh my god, that's the most amazing thing. I have to have that. Yeah, yeah. So, so no, anyway, yeah. uh, we're going to start with uh, our... Um, our annual tradition. So, for those of you that don't yeah, know, our, our, our annual our, what? Our annual. Commission. <laughs> that's not. It's a tradition. Tra commission. Transmission. It's a. It's a tradition. Oh my god! It's a Every year we get commissioned a picture of the two of us in our uh, in our cosplay. And this year we were Corbin Dallas and Ruby Rod. Yeah. And this is amazing. This like I, adore balls. Chibi, it's Ruby so Rod, chibi, Corbin Dallas. And it's so cute. It is the best. I absolutely love this commish. And I'm gonna do a um I'm gonna do a border out of uh, pine that you there's a uh, this like traditional way of sealing wood in Japan where you burn it and then you scrape it and you burn it and you scrape it and you do that several times. Uh, and it's because it makes it waterproof. Yeah. Uh, and so I'm gonna do that. For the for the frame, so I'm gonna make so a frame a nice for that. So we have a nice special yeah. handmade frame. Oh wait, wait, wait. Let's look at what her name was, so we can. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I keep looking at it. I keep forgetting. So, uh, Jessica Icy Tang, Mistyus Star, you did an amazing job. Yeah, she did. When it. just so that you guys know, Hopefully. when she showed this to us, I literally jumped up and down, waved jazz hands, it was, it was and very squeed. Disturbing inside yeah. of the con like the biggest fangirl you have ever yeah, seen it was, it was pretty i love it so much and i cannot wait yeah. to put that up so uh we yeah. also got this really dope game of thrones print because i am all about the game of thrones that was from the chalk, the chalk twins. twins there was there was some did it say that oh yeah, that's yeah, actually yeah. what they call the chalk twins. The chalk twins. yeah they were there at fanime I don't know, doing chalk stuff or something? They were doing like they were in the back, art? like not outside doing art, which I felt was yeah, kind of totally weird. Yeah, we totally missed them We totally Friday, missed them, yeah. So we didn't even see them until Sunday, and uh, they had a bunch of really cool chalk art stuff. Yeah, that they uh, have like But they had them. these still lifes of certain Ooh. fandoms, and I saw this Game of Thrones one, and being a huge Game of Thrones fan, I had to have it. Yeah. Because it has like the, it has a dragon egg, and it has the, the hand uh, brooch, it has the mask. It's got, it's got uh, back here, this is Wildfire, and it's got the coin. So uh, I'm currently re-watching Game of Thrones right now, just because, and uh, I'm so happy to have this. I'm yeah. just like, ah, except that I'm disappointed that they didn't have a Lord of the Rings one because those are my two, like, unicorns. So if you're watching this, Chalk Twins, pretty, pretty please. Yeah. Tolkien, yeah. still life. Love you forever. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, so we got some manga. So much manga, guys. Not, it's Look not that much manga. manga. Okay, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna go over the manga real quick. What we got? So we got uh, Giant Spider and Me, which looks super adorable. So we got that. Uh, we got World's End Harem, which is like cyber future dystopia harem. It just it We're like I read I read the back of the. Uh, of the of the manga and was just like alright you're good yeah alright yeah that's fucking weird as shit like I'll get that uh, the Fooly Cooly Omnibus cause it was Fooly Cooly um, it's buried so we'll show you later uh, it's Fooly Cooly something or other 20th anniversary 20th, or 25th anniversary yeah. something like that uh, and so they have the Omnibus out and so we picked this up I absolutely love Fooly Cooly so this is gonna be exciting um secret 
Uh, it looks like a the horror se- manga. The secret is these kids are creepy as shit. Why would you wear those? I super love horror manga. Yeah, so that, we're excited about that horror. Yeah. Um, so I can't play H. Fantastic anime. Uh, can't wait to read the manga. Um, oh, Monster Tamer Girls. Obviously. Looks also looks adorable. Awesome. Yeah. Um, today's Cerberus is like adorable demon girls. Can you tell that we like Monster Girls? Yeah, like Monster Girls and Demon Girls are like low key where girls. it's at. Yeah. Uh, no matter how I look at it, it's your guys' fault I'm not popular. If I, I'm like ninety nine percent certain I've watched this anime. Oh, it I'm, looks the style hilarious. looks really familiar. I'm pretty certain I've seen this anime, and if it's what I'm thinking it is, this is absolutely fantastic. <laughs> um, oh, though you may burn to ash is like magical girls and but like, like guy, demons they, and like yeah, it's and like, like there's like a skeleton on the back and stuff. So that looks fun. Going to hell and trying yeah. to get out of it. Oh, and an illegal like drug, a drugstore with medicine and danger, which is a clamp, like... It's a dark horse. It's one, like... <laughs> so it's maybe a little more American uh, sensibilities, yeah. but it looks like it's a manga about weed and yeah, it looks like Northern a... Californians, we had we to kinda buy We kind of had to get it, and it's super <laughs> thick. And then, like, the story seems kind of interesting. Um... And the art's pretty cool. There's too. something yeah. about it that leads me to believe that this is going to get a little BL, so that sounds fun. Ooh, uh, I don't know, yeah. but it's just like a vibe that I got when I yeah, picked yeah, it up. Yeah, so yeah. like, we'll see. We'll see about that. <laughs> but so yeah, we got like a brick load of manga. So we got all that stuff going on. We also got a ton of these like cute little Oh yeah, okay. I really guys. like little uh, ocean life plushies. I have so like we got so many. squids. I have like two yeah. squids and I have like a tiny baby kraken or something and somewhere. A, and a, um, a whale. Oh yeah, and I have a whale also. Yeah. So I got this. It's like a, a, it's a chocolate, chocolate chip, chip sandwich. Like a mint sandwich chocolate chip sandwich turtle. turtle. Oh my god. Which is adorable. It's so cute. Uh, I got this hammerhead shark. I, this is actually the first thing I bought at Fanime was this adorable hammerhead shark. Look, it's got a little bow on his head. Um, and it's, it hung on my camera literally the whole the weekend. Whole time. And it's going to go back on my camera. I had to take it off just to shoot this. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, a little little chibi squid thing because I love squid. That one's an octopus. Octopus. I'm sorry. Because this one's a Yeah, squid. I'm sorry. Chibi yeah. octopus. <laughs> Stroking out. Uh, chibi squid. And this is a little chibi anglerfish. And it's mine, and I love it something. so much. I'm gonna make like a little still life at my desk at work just it's, to house yeah, this little anglerfish in it. It's ah! pretty adorable in its like derpiness. Yeah. yeah so that, that was that was and a so sweet angry. haul. Then we also got these pins. Oh yeah. Uh, this one says such sparkle. You're, there's no way you're gonna be able to see this. Sadly. It says such sparkle. Such sparkle, and it's like a got narwhal. like a like a narwhal, but it's all yeah. like um, it's all glittery. It's all but glittery. It's not actually and glitter. It's just like it's like just goldy and example. stuff. It's really really pretty. Uh, and it's clearly my pen. Yeah. No. Yeah. Uh, and I need vitamin C. S E A. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and it's because I have a serious <laughs> issue with the ocean. I cannot not. He go literally anywhere. actually needs vitamin C. Yeah. So, like I have to go to yeah, the ocean well, frequently. Um, oh, I just kept picking this up because it's in the way. Um, <laughs> I picked up uh, this little note drawing notepad, this Copic notepad, because last year I got some alcohol pens. Yeah. But um, like all they of the art paper we have, they everything. bleed through. So, so I picked up a little sketch pad so I can get back into sketching. Those so really look like forward it. to art. Yep. Uh, there was these guys selling this. The, um, it's a panel from a manga that they put on a light, a light switch, switch cover. So this is gonna go into the office and follow around in the office. Uh, this is this is. Um, is it? Um, uh, how picking up girls in a dungeon? Yeah, this What's is that one. Yeah, about? picking up girls in yeah. a dungeon. Something, something, something. Picking up girls in a dungeon. Something, something, <laughs> something. And that's a really stupidly long title, but it's picking up girls in a dungeon. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. So that's that one. And then from the same people, they also had these little notebooks, that like were upcycled. upcycled notebooks that have little like manga print on the front and back. And then on the front, they Maid. like color in a little specific section, and it's yeah. Dragon Maid, so clearly we had to have that Yeah, too. so I, I had to get that. That's that's <laughs> adorable. I super dig that. Um, we got a bunch of stickers. Yeah, we got a bunch of vinyl stickers, because uh, who doesn't love vinyl stickers? Yeah, right. So, uh, Deadpool, little DP, uh, D20. It's not the same thing. Not that kind of DP, guys. Uh, like, yeah, no, it's not. I was trying to justify it, couldn't I'm from the internet. A little yeah. D20. Um, 
Liger, Zero, oh, Jaeger. Oh, man, I thought you forgot yeah. that. <laughs> almost did, I almost did. This is, okay, I'm not a big mech anime person. Zoids is one of my all-time favorite anime. I've seen all the seasons, all the different, because there's like a, like different shows set in different timelines and stuff like that. There's just something absolutely fantastical about the way that they did the art in these, the way they animated these robots to be very like alive. So I had to get that. I have no clue where I'm going to put any of this, by the way. I might put like a Zero Jaeger on my <laughs> laptop. Um, just going to slide that. I got a little Silver Enterprise. That's an OG. I got an alliance symbol because I rep the alliance. Had to had to have that. That's gonna go on my laptop. Uh, we got these little controller stickers for the PS4. Yeah, these are stickers for the PS4 on that back light. So first of all, they're not as bright, which is fantastic because that light is bright as shit. Especially but a little the, at night when all the bio are and it's a, it's the Pac-Man. Pac so I had to get these two. I got two controllers and I hate the lights on them anyway, yeah. so that's perfect. And I got this really beautiful like boba art sticker, and it's like a little goldfish yeah. in this like little purple boba pond, and it's such a beautiful sticker that I kind of don't really know what to do with it. Um, but I'm really, I'm really excited to put it on something. Yeah, yeah. Um, so then we also got, so, okay, there's this game called Tantakuro that I absolutely love, and I bought a bunch of the cards last year, and really haven't played it since I bought the cards. Yeah. Which is kind of sad, but I wanted to buy a playmat, one for that, and two for some of the other card games we play. Uh, we have this Viking card game where you lay out lands and you race it's Hugin and Munin and you guys race across the nine it's rounds. It's called Odin's Ravens. Yeah, it's super it's fun, super and, fun it's and it's really fast. So, so we play nice that a lot us. and she's yeah. never played Magic the Gathering yeah. um, so I'm going to teach her how to play Magic the Gathering uh, and so, so we, obviously we needed a play mat. So we needed a play mat and this company first of all has a fantastical art but like look at the color in that play mat. I haven't actually seen this play Yeah, mat. it's so oh, it's bright. Oh so it's nice right? and it's like nice and uh, it's nice and flexy. It's, nice it's, and it's flexy. thick, but it's not like overly thick. Like it's gonna it's be heavy. Also, it also didn't retain the shape of it being circular. Most things like that kind of yeah. Like, kind of. But like the color saturation, super super high. Yeah. So yeah, I'll show you guys one more time. It's like absolutely beautiful, man. Like it, it just really, like it's funny because when I was looking at it, the one that I wanted to get, which was from the German, the Oktoberfest edition of the game they were out of and he was like oh like we like we'll mail it to you like whichever one you want like no cost for shipping like we just ran out of it at the con blah 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 and i was like no you know what i want to buy something at the con like you know this is life telling me to make a different choice or whatever and this this is the one version of times i don't have it's like the beach like we're going to the beach and having a beach party like beach episode yeah. edition and uh so i was looking at the little on the front of the box there's like a tiny picture of it and I was looking at him, and he's like, he's like, listen. I was like, well, oh, I asked him, I was like, which one's the best? And he's like, all right, you got to, like, just look at this one. Even if you don't buy it, just look at it. Because the picture just doesn't do its justice. And he showed it to me, and I was just like, I have to have that. Plus, every yeah. anime has a beach episode, and beach episodes are the best. The beach episodes so, are really good. Yeah, so we got that. That was, fucking, <laughs> that was absolutely fantastic. And then we got uh, these little, uh, like, food assembly Poppin cooking things. It makes, like, little candies. These are incredibly complicated and, to make. Yeah, this one, this one that he's holding has, like, seven steps. And, one, and the first step is make broccoli. Yeah, because you, so, make, you make all of these. And they're little, like, jellies and, like, candies and such. Yeah, so, and so that, we, we so have this one, which that is one's a, uh, a, Tanoshi Bento. Yeah. Next we have Tanoshi Cakes. Tanoshi Cakes. So this one's like ice cream. Yeah, it's like a little ice cream and cake And a uh, cake. Yeah. And then this one is Tanoshi Ramen. Yeah, the and ramen one is... mango pudding. Is is pretty common. I think this yeah. is the one that most people have it's seen probably, It looks like the easiest one, although that one has a six six steps in it. Yeah. This one is Tanoshi Donuts. Yeah, which is... Um, that's gonna be real interesting. Yeah. Like you literally like roll out and then press the donut shapes. Yeah, and, stuff, and you like put and you like make the, the frosting and shit. And and, yeah. and it's cool. We're gonna we'll film whenever well, we do and the these. The last one is Tenoshi Sushi, and this one I'm probably the most excited for. Yeah. Uh, because there's so you know what there's uh there's only five steps, but one of the steps is to make the salmon row, and you have to like do some sort of magic, as far as I can see on this picture, to make the salmon row. So I'm pretty excited about you making. You don't understand that. how that works, do you? Uh, the little dropper thingy? Not yet. Oh, okay. That's we'll going to be see. fucking fun. So yeah. we're probably going... Well, our plan is uh, to um, 
to do these for you guys on video so you can see how ridiculous Oof. this is. Because we've been meaning to do some cooking videos for y'all because we're a very food-centered family, as you can tell. Uh, hey, hey. <laughs> I'm a beautiful fucking lady. <laughs> yes, shit you right are. Now. You're so beautiful. I'm a beautiful lady. Uh, so we're planning on doing some cooking videos. These will kind of get us into it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Those are super exciting. And then, okay, so we went to this booth, uh, which is the Sakaido booth. Yeah. Right. And the guys at over at Sakaido were awesome. Also, none of this is sponsored, by the way. I'm sorry. I should have yeah. probably said that at the beginning. We just but I feel like stuff. it's obvious. I just bought stuff. Uh, we just remember people that are cool. And the guys over at the Sakaido booth were completely awesome. Um, they're local in our area, so they're like, oh, we're having this like warehouse sale, you should come by, check out this warehouse sale. It happens to be like one of the every weekend that we're busy, so we're not gonna be able to make it to the warehouse sale. Yeah. But we still said we'd give them a little shout out. Um, they absolutely loved our costumes. Like the guy who helped us, like his buddy came up and was like, oh, can I take you guys' picture? And we're like, of course, click, like it's no big deal. And then, <laughs> and then, he, like, then he was like, oh yeah. And, and like there was like the, like a moment where his brain kind of went like, Arr. and then he was like, oh my you god, you guys are Fifth Element. We were, we're Fifth just Element. Like, yeah. and he's like, it's he's my like, favorite movie it, ever. Yeah, exactly. I can't believe I didn't re realize it. But yeah. that's actually kind of the experience we had throughout the whole con because we were hipster Fifth Element. We weren't movie accurate, so it's a little bit more of a stretch to kind of figure it out. Yeah. Uh, but thankfully, we had Ruby Rod here, and everybody, everybody eventually realized it with Ruby, Ruby Rod. Rod. Yeah. <laughs> So we collect uh, Super Sonico figures, so yeah. every year we have to come up with at least one. Uh, but the problem is, is each year it gets a yes, little Kasha? bit... <laughs> you want to look at that? She's excited about it. Yeah. It's a new new edition. A so new every Sonico. year we have to come up with at least one new Sonico. Yeah, and we decided for... we're starting to run out. Or yeah, we, we decided for the uh, genie, genie of the... What did they say? Yeah, genie, genie of, of the, the Lamp. lamp. Yeah. Uh, one, I absolutely love Super Sonico figurines. They're like super reasonably priced. And, and there's so many really, different ones. Uh, well, yeah, they're all I mean, kind of cute. This year there were like four, right? Cuz they, yeah. they had this they had this genie one. They had they had a the, they had two, two special anniversary, anniversary ones. like anniversary edition ones. One was like pink and one was like blue, like she had different outfits yeah. on. Uh, I actually liked the blue one and thought about getting it, but then it was just like, I don't, know, I don't know if I really need also we didn't really have a room. It wasn't really so, a, it was really it was a nice figure, but it wasn't like we didn't see it and we're like, oh my god, we have to have this figure. Yeah. So that's why we went with the just the genie of the lamp yeah. one. Oh, but and they had I a they had a so ramen happy topper. We did. Super Sonico also, but I already have a ramen topper. I have silver, I think. And yeah. there are five. There's silver, gold, white, pink, blue. and blue. Um, yeah. if I remember correctly, for the Super Sonico ramen toppers. And I actually eat ramen fairly frequently, but most of the time it's at work. Mine is sitting on top of some Legos over there, like a hood. That's why he like keeps pushing over there. Yeah, sorry. Uh, over to my, where my Legos are, like back where I used to shoot. But um, I primarily eat ramen at work, and I feel like maybe this isn't the most work appropriate. I mean, I get away with a yeah. lot. Like a lot. But still. There's only so far. There's only so far, and I don't, need, I don't really need to do that. So I was like, I don't get yeah. that. Like, And I don't really eat top, like cup of noodle here. We eat like uh, the... The higher the, quality yeah. ramen bowls, because we're not plebes, um, or whatever. So I actually just really love regular ramen with hot sauce. But yeah, so we got that, and these <laughs> these guys were super awesome. But yeah. when we got that, they were doing this thing like if you if you liked them on Instagram or or or, or excuse me if you if you followed them, them on Instagram yeah. or something like that, which ended up like they've got like coupons and advertisements about where they're gonna be, which is dope. But uh, they gave us some some free swag. Yeah. And so we got uh, this one, which is Odie from Garfield. Mm -hmm. They're these like weird little like Garfield fist monsters. Listen, these are gonna come up in D and D. I'm gonna find oh, a way to write them in. No, I'm gonna find a way. And to this write one's a SpongeBob in. SquarePants. Oh, I'm gonna have to try and kill SpongeBob SquarePants. Yeah, it's not like we've all already wanted to kill SpongeBob SquarePants. I mean, maybe. Although nothing about this figure is square. Boop. Oh, jeez. Oh, that's nightmare fuel. He has a head on the back of his head. <gasps> front of his oh, head. Oh, no. He back has of his eyes head. in the Listen. back of his head. Two-headed hellhound. Oh, that's not okay. No, that's... That's not okay. Horrifying. Oh, my God. So does SpongeBob. That's Patrick Star. Or Patrick. My bad. Yeah. Oh. Oh, see, look, front oh, head, happy, back head, not oh, so happy. Oh, my All God. All he gets to see is butt. 
So, yeah, that's, we're not looking at the back of them. That's terrifying. Yes. And we're just going to knock those gonna, over. I don't want to have to see gonna, those. We're just going to put yeah. this. So, uh, yeah, just cover that here. shit up. But, uh, so, yeah. Oh, and then the last thing, the last thing was the, fa the like, stuff that comes with Fanime. So, because it was Fooly Cooly's anniversary, we got this sweet bag. Hide her face. Sweet bag. Uh, which is actually awesome. It's, like, really high quality. It's actually a really like, high quality. Like, surprisingly high quality, quality kind of for that kind of a bag. And it was a limited bag. edition, and yeah. we uh, checked in fairly early. So, so we were able to get one, yeah. Well for us. And then, uh, Fanime always gives us these. I don't necessarily always keep these the pocket guide greatest thing ever. I always do, because it's my job. Uh, but for those of you that have Fanime not been Con to... Those of you that go to gives Fanime... Gives us a full thingy. This year, they knew they had the gatherings table, which is new, but if you're going to Fanime and you're not at least looking at this guide well, or taking it with you, you're really doing get this yourself guy, a disservice. When you go to Fanime, right, Fanime pointers, uh, number 243, uh, <laughs> fucking bring a pencil or something or a highlighter and highlight the shit you want to go to so that way you don't have to remember. Yeah. You can just be like, oh... It's Saturday at 8 o'clock. What's going on? All right, we said there were three things that we were... Don't put what you're going to go to. Put what you're interested in going yeah. to. And you say, there are these three things to go. we want to go to. Do we want to go to this panel? Do we want to see this movie? Do we want to go to this panel? And if the answer is, no, I would rather stay in the hotel room and watch the show and drink, yeah. that's totally fine. You know, so, like, you, this, it's a good way to, like, lose well, guide Well, what we do is we get the guide on Friday. Okay. When we check in, we go after after we've uh, gone to the hotel and come and come back and gotten the Fanime thing. We kind of check out and see what's happening as a group, and then we all uh, talk about, like, what it is we want to do. We highlight it in the thing. We keep the guide yeah. with us. And then I actually add the appointment to my phone with like about a 15 minute lead time that yeah. way we can decide if we want to go so for instance uh this year we had probably 10 different panels or other things from the guide that we scheduled that we thought about going to and we only went to like four yeah. because there's so yeah. much to do and we don't really yeah. um you know there was a couple of times where we were just like we just got to the hotel room our feet hurt because we were at the rave last night so we're not going anywhere yeah and you and you you get information the information inside of the greater magazine oh manga lounge these are the times these are the rules yeah oh such and such panel these are the times the bit, bit. so like that's really nice um it has information about the event maps, it has maps it has yeah, questions it, uh, all the kind of stuff pictures of who the the uh the personalities are, are. Yeah. uh next year's the 25th anniversary edition so we're pretty stoked. So I'm pretty excited about that. We did not realize it was next year was the 25th anniversary. So, yeah. so we're going to have to roll in with some pretty amazing costumes. And we've already got some really Yeah, we've got some ideas. ideas. Yeah. So yeah, so, stay tuned for more information about that. But yeah. yeah, so that was just, I wanted to go over a Fanime Hall, kind of show you guys what was going on. Yeah. And then from there, just kind of like... Uh, like, we'll, we're gonna go over the candy boxes. Like, we'll, like, when we do that, we'll probably do, like, two at a time with the whole family here. And, like, do them, and I'll try to eat them, because... Okay, well, they're either... They taste like candy, which is hit or miss, or they taste like the food they're trying to look like. And which is that's horrifying. And fucking nightmare food. Because <laughs> I don't know that I could eat a solidified gelatinous sushi roll. Yeah. That would be... Like, just saying that kind of it's bad taste that in the mouth. That would be super gross. Zone, so... That would be really yeah. gross. Yeah, uh, we'll see about those. I've never actually yeah. had one of those. I've Me seen either. videos of I've a couple of I've seen the videos. Them. I've seen but, them for yeah. sale every year, so yeah. we're going to do it. Yeah. It's going to happen. But yeah, so, uh, like, whatever. Stay tuned for more information about that. And, um... And probably some reviews on those mangas when we get yeah, there. Yeah, probably, and, uh, probably some of that. Uh, I'm reading, a, like, a 46-hour-long audiobook right now, so... I don't really have time for anything. But, um, yeah, either way, I've been John Norgrove. This has been Wife. This has been an unboxing of sorts. Uh, and, uh, yeah. Stay nerdy, nerd guys. Stay nerdy.